What does it mean to be digitally literate in the 21st century? Is it simply comfort or competency in using smartphones or other web devices? Does it mean that you can type tens of thousands of pages of words using a word processing program? Or is it something more? We know that the word literate means the ability to read and write. But at a deeper level, it also means the ability to apply what you have read or written in a real world context. So how can this help us understand what digital literacy is? We know the world is a vastly different place now than it was 10 years ago. In 2007, the first smartphone was introduced to the world and a new career called app developer was born. How did the people who have become app developers get there when there was no prescribed path for them to take? There are numerous other careers out there today that didn't exist 10 years ago. Today you can become a user experience designer, a cloud computing expert, a virtual personal assistant or a social media executive. A key ingredient in all these jobs is that they require people who are digitally literate. Those that will be most successful in their careers are those who embrace new information and new ideas and adapt fluidly to these new situations. We want you to start thinking about what it means to be digitally literate and why it is a critical part of your education. Think back to your education and where you might have developed some of your digital literary skills already. Ask yourself these questions. Have you ever had to create something in a group using technology and present it to the rest of your class? Have you ever created an audio recording, labelled images you found on the internet, used a wiki, a blog or simply a Word document to collect ideas with another group and share it with the rest of the class. Have you the relevant skills to find information on the internet that may be helpful to you in your studies? Or even better, have you the skills to decide what is a good quality source and how it could be used? Have you checked your digital identity and are you aware of the power of how you present yourself to others online? Have you ever taught someone else a new skill by using technology to explain it in a better way? At graduation from secondary school, will you have the key skills you need to be aware of digital ethics and will you have gained enough experience of working in teams and groups while using technology? All of these will prepare you for the world of work and college. It's now time to think and make sure that you have identified any digital literacy skills that you haven't already explored and make sure you are competent and confident in all of them.